The need to sustainably process medical waste is attracting attention in China, since official data suggests the volume thrown away across hospitals in China amid COVID-19 stood at up to 3,000 tons per day. To meet the challenge, some hospitals are using advanced technologies. China's first set of equipment using electron beam, or EB, for waste water treatment has been applied in Shiyan's Xiyuan Hospital. I spoke to the party committee secretary in front of the device about the technology. What are the advantages of the newly applied equipment? It can treat 400 tons of wastewater per day. The volume of demand in our hospital was 200 tons during the climax of the outbreak, so it's completely able to meet our needs. Besides the capacity, a nuclear expert breaks the tech down from a scientific perspective. The equipment can destroy the structure of viruses in order to kill them, such as the novel coronavirus, and degrade toxic pollutants in wastewater by using high-energy electron beams generated by electron accelerators. Apart from a wastewater disposal, EB technologies also used to kill the coronavirus on the outer packaging of frozen food. E-beam radiation to kill the virus on packaging was approved by experts this March. It is safe and environment-friendly. The pilot project will be implemented in Shenzhen soon. To better guide the development of a nuclear technology in the health sector, a plan focusing on domestic medical isotopes, a necessary component for future development, was released in June. The production of medical isotopes is now of certain capacity. It is, however, small in scale, with a significant portion relying on imports. Facing the complicated international situation, independent R&D on nuclear medicine is inevitable. Yet compared to international levels, Deng says China still needs to improve its nuclear medicine and related medical equipment so as to further improve people's living standards and help build a healthier China. Among the CGTN, Shiyan, Hubei province.